Every October 4th, Roman Catholics celebrate the Feast of Saint Francis of Assisi, an Italian mystic and Catholic friar who founded the Franciscans. He is usually depicted in a brown habit with a rope around his waist with three knots, symbolizing the three Franciscan vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. Francis was born in the year 1181 to Pietro di Bernardoni dei Morricone, who was a prosperous silk merchant and Pica di Belmont, who was a noblewoman originally from Provence. Francis lived the high-spirited life typical of a wealthy young man, wore fine clothes, and spent money lavishly. However, in one early account written about him, he started to show disillusionment toward the world which led to the story of the beggar. Around 1202, he joined a military expedition against Perugia. Unfortunately, he was taken as a prisoner, he was released a year later and then returned to Assisi. In 1205, he enlisted in the army. However, he had a strange vision that made him return to Assisi and lose interest in worldly life. Francis went to Rome and joined the poor in begging at St. Peter's Basilica, where he asked God for spiritual enlightenment. There, he had a vision of Jesus in the forsaken chapel of San Damiano just outside Assisi, called him, Francis, Francis, go and repair my church which, as you can see, is falling into ruins. He sold some clothes from his father's store to assist in the repair of the said church. This broke their relationship, resulting in Francis renouncing his father and his patrimony, stripped naked in token of this renunciation. For the next couple of months, Francis wandered as a beggar in the hills behind Assisi. He begged for stones to help restore St. Damiano's chapel. During this time, a friend gave him his cloak, girdle, and staff as arms. Over the course of two years, he helped restore several ruined chapels around Assisi, including San Pietro in Spina and the Porziuncola, the little chapel of St. Mary of the Angels which became his favorite abode. In February of 1208, when Francis was taking part in a Mass in the Chapel of St. Mary of the Angels, he heard the Gospel of the Day which was about the commissioning of the Twelve, from the Book of Matthew, where the disciples go to different places and proclaim that the Kingdom of God is at hand. Inspired to devote himself to a life of poverty, Francis went about exhorting the people of the countryside to do penance, show brotherly love, and become a channel of peace to everyone. His examples attracted others and within a year, Francis had eleven followers. They lived a simple life in the deserted Lazar house of Ravo Torto near Assisi. In 1209, Francis composed a simple rule for his followers called Regula Primitiva, or Primitive Rule, which came from verses in the Bible. The rule was, to follow the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ and to walk in his footsteps. Along with his followers, they went to Rome to seek permission from Pope Innocent III to establish a new religious order. There, they encountered Bishop Guido of Assisi and Giovanni di San Paolo, the Cardinal Bishop of Sabina, who was then the confessor of Pope Innocent III. Cardinal Giovanni immediately became sympathetic to Francis's cause and agreed to represent Francis to the Pope. Days later, they had an informal audience with the Pope who told them that if God decided to increase their number, they could return for an official audience. Following a dream in which he saw Francis holding up the Lateran Basilica, the Pope decided to endorse Francis's order and on April 16, 1210, the Franciscan order was founded. Francis was ordained a deacon, but not a priest. In 1211, a young noblewoman named Claire of Assisi, along with her cousin Rufino, sought to live like them. On March 28, 1212, a Palm Sunday, Francis received Claire, her younger sister Caterina, and other young women in a nearby monastery of Benedictine nuns and established the Order of Poor Clares, the Second Franciscan Order. Later, Francis formed the Third Order of Brothers and Sisters of Penance, a fraternity composed of either laity or clergy whose members neither withdrew from the world nor took religious vows, and those who could not leave their affairs they observed the principles of Franciscan life in their daily lives. This became the third order, now called the Secular Franciscan Order. 
On September 29, 1220, Francis handed over the governance of the order to brother Peter Catani. However, the latter died only five months later. He was then succeeded by brother Elias. Two years later, Francis modified the first rule, creating the second rule, which was approved by Pope Honorius III in November of 1223. This rule called on the friars to observe the holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, living in obedience without anything of our own and in chastity. While he was praying on the mountain of Verna, during a 40-day fast in preparation for Michaelmas, Francis had a vision about the exaltation of the cross. This resulted in him receiving the stigmata. Brother Leo, who was with Francis at the time, recounts the event of the stigmata, suddenly he saw a vision of a seraph, a six-winged angel on a cross. This angel gave him the gift of the five wounds of Christ. Suffering from the stigmata and trachoma, Francis was brought to care in several cities, Siena, Cortona, and Nasera, but to no avail. Finally, he was brought back to his hut next in Porziancola where he spent his last days dictating his spiritual testament. Francis died on the evening of October 3, 1226, singing Psalm chapter 141, Voci Mea Ad Dominum. On July 16, 1228, Francis was declared a saint by Pope Gregory IX, the former Cardinal Ugolino di Conti, a friend of Francis and Cardinal Protector of the Order. The next day, the Pope laid the foundation stone for the Basilica of St. Francis in Assisi. On March 13, 2013, upon his election as Pope, Archbishop and Cardinal Jorge Mario Bergoglio of Argentina chose Francis as his papal name in honor of St. Francis of Assisi. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.